Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jung Lee and today I brought a video of myself sharing some experiences and stories leading up to my diagnosis to gastritis. Yes, I have recently been diagnosed with gastritis. Now, gastritis is an inflammation that is formed around the lining of your stomach. And I just want to share a little bit of my experiences because I've had some symptoms. I've had these symptoms for a, for a while. And because I was so curious about this, I searched and looked uh, looked it up on YouTube many times, but I couldn't really find many people talking about symptoms or experiences of gastritis. So I decided to make a video on it so that these symptoms and experiences can be shared with a lot more people. But if you're also experiencing similar things, you can uh, comment below and share with us. Now, some of the symptoms that led me to the hospital were indigestion first, um, tight chest, and shortness of breath. Now, this indigestion has been with me for a good number of years. I want to say ever since I came to Korea, which is three years ago, I've been experiencing indigestion. So there will be many nights where I would opt out for dinner because my initial assumption was that I was having indigestion because first I'm too full, I ate too much, or I'm gaining weight. So I skipped lots of dinners, which helped me better. But in the long run, I am aware that starvation does not help your gastritis. So that was my indigestion. Now that happened for a number of years as I shared earlier, but what really kind of um, triggered me and what kind of really scared me was that a couple months ago, I want to say two to three months ago, I started experiencing some um, like shortness of breath and tight chest pain. So I specifically remember that first night I experienced my shortness of breath and tight chest pain. I immediately called my mom to kind of inform her or even ask her in case uh, we have some similar experiences in our family history. But she didn't really know much about it, so I just kind of like fell asleep. But these episodes started happening almost every other day and it kind of freaked me out because I was thinking, what if I'm dying? I really thought I was dying, especially when I was experiencing the shortness of breath and tight chest pain. And so I decided to go to the doctor and first my um, doctor kind of checked my lung capacity. I mean, my lungs are not in best shape, but there it wasn't the cause of my symptoms. And then after he prescribed me some medication for gastritis and stomach ulcer. And after I took this medication for about a week, my symptoms went away, surprisingly. So we kind of tentatively diagnosed that I probably have gastritis. But since we're not too sure about it, we decided to go for an endoscopy. Now, after, um, we found some inflammation on the lining of my stomach. So the doctor took some samples of the tissue to do more exam. And then now I'm confirmed that I have gastritis. Now, this is my, like, I, I literally just got diagnosed with it. So I don't have stories to share after I got diagnosed. So maybe after a couple of weeks of being treated, I can share and make another video on uh, my experiences along with my treatment. I believe it's just going to be a uh, medication-based treatment, so maybe not much about it. But if any one of you is experiencing similar symptoms or experiences, uh, feel free to share down below so other people can kind of be more informed in case they're curious or scared. It's nothing to be scared of. Uh, gastritis is treatable and curable. But I know the food you ate matters a lot. So these days, just to prevent these symptoms from coming back in bad episodes, I've been eating lots of healthy food. So last night, I boiled some cabbages, carrots, mushrooms. So it was just like good, hearty meal for me. And my stomach feels pretty good with it because it sits pretty well in my stomach. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if you guys want to share and talk about it, please feel free to like and comment below. And if you'd like to see more content on it, 
or on anything else that I've been posting on my channel, please like and subscribe my channel and I'll be back.